I'm here today for Maths in Action. Maths is becoming more and more important as we live in a more and more technological society. Mathematical knowledge is needed in more and more places. So there's more demand for people with maths degrees. The CBAs of the world, the NABs of the world, the Deloitte's, the PWC's, they need math grads. They need your aptitude for problem solving. They're gonna pay you a salary, but the idea is that they pay you well because you are saving them more money than what they're spending. Maths is really good for your career prospects. They work, a lot of them, in finance and banks. There's lots of tech companies like Google. If you're in maths, your job prospects financially are very good. In fact, a couple of months ago, a newspaper published a list of the New South Wales top 10 highest paid jobs, and mathematicians, statisticians and actuaries have hit the top 10. There's a huge shortage in Australia of people who are trained in statistics and maths to analyse things like insurance risk or environmental modelling and things like that. Rubik's Cube was invented by Rubik. He's a Hungarian architect and designer and he didn't invent the cube as a puzzle. He invented it as an exercise in design and it really is clever. I think that the way that they teach maths in university is very different from the way that you learn it in high school in that you get to see problems in depth and really understand what you're answering rather than just learning how to answer a question. Doing mathematics it was like, it's a passion. There are philosophy as well as mathematics in it. The beautifulness of the symmetry in the universe, everywhere you can see symmetry. We've got some fantastic mathematicians at Western Sydney. You learn about maths and data science, you learn to do some really fun things with it. And also, as you learn it, you get to, I hope, enjoy mathematics because it really is a lot of fun.